uh, how is it doing the host reservation for the service discovery? Uh, right. So when a container, for instance, when, when the worker needs to connect to Hasher, it's going to send a DNS request for Hasher. And the container engine or the container environment exposes um, a, a kind of ad hoc DNS server for that. So in the, in the case of Docker, it's the Docker engine itself that will uh, provide that little embedded DNS uh, service. Uh, so when a container resolves the name Hasher, uh, then it's going to give it uh, resolve the IP address of the service Hasher. Uh, in the context of Kubernetes, it's a little bit different. Like the, the DNS service is uh, not embedded with the container engine, but it will be the same idea. The code will resolve that name, and, and the cluster uh, DNS service is going to tell it, okay, the IP address you need is that. Um, this DNS service is scoped, which means that if I want, I can run the same application multiple times on the same machine, like side by side, each in its own um, network. And then when uh, that stack is going to resolve the name Redis, it's going to resolve the IP address of Redis in that stack. Now when the containers in that stack uh, resolve Redis, it's going to give them the IP address of Redis in that other stack. 